This is the homework for lesson one of module seven for second grade. Start by writing my name. Now some of this is going to go pretty fast. Some of it is going to take a little more careful timing. And uh, so this is a video. Skip ahead from the parts you don't need to watch and uh, you can go back and always, you know, Click rewind and watch again the parts that if I go too fast, you can always just pause and go back and watch it again and see if anything you missed. Um, this first page is going to go pretty quick. Mine's in color. Yours probably in black and white. Count and categorize each picture to complete the table with tally marks. So this first one is going to be, we're going to count with tally marks. Uh, first, no legs. That's just the snake. Two legs. We've got a flamingo, a rooster, and a penguin. Three. And then four legs. We've got a polar bear, a lion, and a rabbit. That's three. This next one is a little bit different. Count and categorize each picture to complete the table. This is a table with numbers this time. So first we're looking at animals with fur. There's a tiger, panda bear, looks like a wolf or a fox, and a rabbit. One, two, three, four. Four animals have fur, using numbers now instead of tally marks. And feathers, we've got one, two, three birds. And that's the first page. Second page. We've got a... Now, this time they give us a table and they're going to ask us some questions about the table. Animal habitats. We've got three different kinds of habitats. And these are how many animals live in those habitats. Uh, first question, how many animals live in the Arctic? There's the Arctic habitat. Six animals. Six. And these will get a little bit trickier as we go along. That one was not too bad. Uh, how many animals have habitats in the forest and grasslands? We're going to count both of those together. So that's the forest, 11, and the grasslands, 9. 11 plus 9, that's 20. 20 animals. And C. How many fewer? Fewer means the same as less. Animals have Arctic habitats than forest habitats. We're looking at Arctic and forest. And we know the difference between the two. Forest. 11 minus 6 for the Arctic. We're going to need 5. It's 5 fewer. 5 fewer animals. This next one, I'm going to draw a tape diagram for this one because there's kind of a lot of moving parts to this. How many more animals would need to be in the grasslands category to have the same number as the Arctic and forest categories combined? All right, so let's look at the Arctic and forest categories combined. Arctic category is six. All right, I'll just put an A there for Arctic. And the forest category, forest, that's 11, F for forest. And I need to know how many more would be would the grasslands need to be the same as that to have the same number as this right and this is we figure out the six and the eleven together that's six plus eleven that's going to be seventeen animals right so we've already got the grasslands already has nine animals mm -hmm nine animals so this is going to be we want and how many more here would it need to be the same so that these are both 17 when we're done well this looks like a lot like a number bond right 17 and we've got nine here and we got to figure out the other part so we subtractify the other part 17 minus 9, and that's going to be 8. 
So we need this we need this to be eight more. We need eight more animals in the grasslands to be the same. We need eight here. Eight more. It's for this to be the same as the Arctic and the forest put together. So eight. And now we have how many total animal habitats were used to create this table? One, two, three, three habitats. And finally, we've got our last page, number four. Question number four, I mean, third page. Use the animal classification table to answer the following questions about the class pets in Westchester Elementary School. So here's uh, pets in a classroom. Uh, and this is this is the table right here. So there's a classroom and there's seven birds for, for We took a poll of all the kids in the class and see what kind of pets they have so There are uh, seven people. Ha uh, there are seven birds uh, That are pets 15 fish 18 mammals and nine reptiles and Our first question a is how many animals are birds fish or reptiles? So this means we're gonna count all three of these together birds or fish or reptiles we're going to count all of them so that means we're going to count the birds that's seven and count all means we're going to add fish there's 15 fish and reptiles there's nine reptiles i'm going to add all of those together the seven and the nine i'm going to add first and say that that is 16 plus we still have the 15 and then uh, if I'm going to add these two we've got the two tens 20 and that's 11 20 and 11 that's 31 so that's 31 animals are birds or fish or reptiles if you put that all together how many more birds and mammals are there than fish and reptiles? I'm going to draw a picture for this. I'm going to draw a tape diagram. Uh, how many more birds and mammals are there than fish? So we have birds and mammals, and we have fish and reptiles. And this is how many more birds and mammals. So birds and mammals must be more than fish and reptiles. We're going to have to figure out how many more. So we, first we got to figure out the birds and the mammals together. So that's birds and mammals. And birds are seven birds, right? And there's 18 mammals. So that whole thing together, seven plus 18 is going to be 25 animals if you add that together 7, seven plus 18 and then we got to figure how many more is that than the fish and the reptiles so the fish 15 and the reptiles 9 it's going to end up being less right so we have the fish 15 right that's the fish the reptiles 9 are reptiles and then that's going to be the more right here I'm going to just label that how that's how many more so that's what it would take that's how many more they would have to be to be the same so the fish and the reptiles together that's the 15 plus the 9, which is 24. And then this, how many more, is going to be the difference between this tape right here, which was 25, minus these two put together, which is 24. And you see the difference here is going to be, it's one more. One more animal. How many animals were classified? 
that's all of them. So we're going to count all of them together for C. We're going to count. We're going to add 7 plus 15 plus the 18 plus the 9. And we're adding four add ends together. First thing I'm looking for is ways to make 10 with these ones. And I don't see an easy way to do it, really. Sorry about that. So I usually start with the two biggest numbers. I'll start with the 15 and I'm going to add, I'm going to look at the 18 here and that's going to be a 10 plus a 10. And this is just, I'm just going to show the arrow way for how I would do it in my head. Uh, you can do uh, any kind of method you need, but you have to show some work for how you're going to add these numbers together. Don't just write down a number and be done with it, but you have to do something to show it. You can write it all out vertically if you want. I'm just going to write it out arrow way to show how I would do it in my head. So I'm going to add the 15, and I'm looking to add the 10 for that uh, from that 18, 25, and then I'm going to add the 8, which will get me to 30. Three, and that's the 15 and the 18 and now I can add the 9 which gets me to 42 and then I'm going to add the 7 which gets me to 49 it's 49 animals classified lots of ways to do that lots of ways to add those numbers together that's just one example of how to do it and how to write it down. If, uh, now we'll look at D. If three, if three more birds and four more reptiles were added to the table, how many fewer birds would there be than reptiles? So we're just looking at birds and reptiles. So right now we have how many birds? We've got seven birds. And I just want, I'm going to draw a picture here just so I can keep track of what's going on. Seven, these are the birds and these are the reptiles. So right now we have seven birds and nine reptiles. So we're going to make this a little bit longer. Seven and nine. And now it says if three more birds, so I'm going to add three more birds and four more reptiles reptiles four more reptiles uh, how many fewer birds would there be than reptiles those got to, now we have to figure out how many birds and reptiles there would be birds you can see it's seven and three that's that's ten right and this one the reptiles here we started with nine and added four more nine and four that's thirteen and you can see the difference here how many fewer right how many less same fewer same thing as less what's the difference here that's 10 that's 13 so this is 13 this is three less right here you would need a three here to make these the same so it is same as 13 minus the 10 equals 3 you would have three fewer birds than reptiles, right? B for birds, R for reptiles, right? So three.